Hey guys, 66 here, and welcome to episode 1 of Clash Royale. I've actually um, played a lot more already, but I'm just an idiot, and I suck at recording, so yeah, that's kind of why you haven't seen the uploads yet. And I don't know what I want. I'll take muskies, I guess. Yo, we can upgrade that thing? We can upgrade this? No, not that. Okay, this is 400. And this is 150. I would use that a lot more. Barb, so let's just upgrade that. This is 150, and this is 400. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade those yet. And I'm just going to show you guys some replays, I guess, because it's easier to commentate those. I suck at live. Okay. I used to get a lot more three stars, but now, you know, it's more about securing that one star to zero victory, and that's TV Royale. So, where do I view my replays? Fuck. There you go, battles. Okay, so I I was playing with this um, Pekka cycle deck, and, um, like, when did we start using it? So, we started with the, the dragon variant. So, we were losing a lot with this old deck, the big push deck. And then we made a Pekka cycle deck. And we won the first battle. Three crowns. And then we lost three crowns and no nothing against, like, higher level cards. And then we changed it up, like, a bit. We changed the dragon for fire spirits. And victory, defeat. And then we changed the Inferno Tower. Victory, 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 victory. So, yeah, we've been doing good. Well, this one was a draw. So let's view, uh, let's see. Why don't they show you their player level? Let's just see what this guy's level is. So this guy was level, you, why doesn't it show you six? Okay. I was beat level seven with this. So I lost to one of them because his cards were too strong. But um, I'm pretty sure this guy was actually level seven. Yeah, this guy was level 7. So let's, let's watch this replay. I'll commentate over it. I don't exactly remember how it went, though. So, yeah, I guess this is fine. I just said good game. Whenever I see a level 7, I just say good game right away. And I didn't know he had that that push. So I was, like, really confused. I dropped a peck at the back, thinking that it would go closer. I zapped that, and I let... I, I don't let the... Battle Ram get to my tower. I don't know this guy, how this guy trophy drops so hard. Right? And, and he got an early lead with that tower. But he invested pretty hard. And I had a decent counter push with the P.E.K.K.A. going. But he does have a lot more elixir than I thought he did. Hmm. Whatever. So he's going to counter my P.E.K.K.A. with minions and spear gobs. And a tornado. And I just can't get to his tower. But this deck is pretty good. Especially at double elixir. I dropped down Inferno just to soak up some hits since uh, at this point I didn't know what he had. And he punishes me with a hog. So I'm kind of confused. I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to drop a knight. And then he sends in his goblin barrel. I get my goblins ready to counter that. Yeah, I counter that. And now I want to build up a big push with my P.E.K.K.A. But he, he just sends in his uh, minion, so I'm like, okay, I got like 5 damage on that tower. So I'm going to drop my P.E.K.K.A. in the other lane, try to bypass all his stuff, and drop my skeletons in order to help deal damage. And the tornado actually pulls my skeletons away and allows them to take down his spear goblins. That was good. And my P.E.K.K.A. is able to get down this tower, I think. No, no, okay. But we get a ton of damage down that tower. And he's focusing on my King Tower, which is a huge advantage for me since my King Tower has so much health. Now, this is the first time I see his balloon, but I'm ready with an Inferno. He takes down the Inferno, though, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, he actually had to use... Why would he use minions there? So I don't think that was a good play on his part. And I dropped down a bomber. I overreact. I forget. I just dropped down a bom bomber. And I waste those stab goblins. He uses a wasted tornado. That only helps my um, bomber stay in the back. So I can build up an even bigger push. Did the prince charge or not? And I zap those three minions. Just so my um, spirit goblins can clean them up. Look how much the health they have though. Because I'm so low level. And I just start spamming down P.E.K.K.A.s. Right? And those P.E.K.K.A.s just exert a lot of pressure. And then they tank tons of hits. And now I'm the one attacking and he's the one defending. 
And I kind of can't handle him later in this game, I'm pretty sure. But you guys have to wait and see. I'm like, okay, I'm wasting elixir. Let's just put down these goblins. Let's put down this. Since he's probably going to send in the balloon pretty soon. I don't think he'll wait that long. And he doesn't even use his balloon, even though I just used my inferno. This guy's not very skilled. But he was at Builder's Workshop. I don't know why he dropped down. I'm really going to Look at how much damage they do, though. The level 7 is a huge advantage for him. And my zap, it does, like, nothing to them. And I, I, I'm just, like, trying my hardest in order to cycle. And I can't get to his tower with the deck that I have. I just can't. It's too hard. I'm struggling, right? But I just cannot get to his tower. I really would like like to enforce this deck a bit. But as you can see, he's building up a hog push. And the hog actually gets pretty close to taking down my tower. Down to 1,000 health. I wasn't paying attention. And now I drop down sphere goblins to counter his. But his are level 7, so they do like a tremendous amount more damage. I dropped down my... Pekka, I thought I did it down to soap, but yeah, it's a good game then. That was a nice draw considering he was level level 7. And I'm actually just going to uh, replace my bomber here since I'm not really using that with minions to deal with air better. That would be a nice um, improvement to this deck. And uh, I'll just show you this recent battle. So this was in Builder's Workshop, which I'm at right now. This was the battle I did earlier. And this was pretty interesting. So he's level 6 and I'm level 5. So we're closer, right? We're close in level. But he has over 2,000 health on his tower, which kind of sucks. So I have to deal over 100 more damage. Now I drop down my goblins and my skeletons. And I don't know why he just sits at full elixir for so long. I guess he was seeing what I was doing, thinking about it. But that wasn't really good for him because that puts him a huge elixir disadvantage if you look on the top bar. He only has five and I managed to have five. He has one more elixir than me, but I have a full P.E.K.K.A. down. I mean like two more elixir. So I'm at a huge advantage right now compared to him. But he has a minion horde, which with which he mirrored, and I was not expecting that, so that completely destroys my push. Even after I zap it, all I'm yeah, he even drops down on skeletal army. But you know, my bomber cleans that up pretty well, and I only get some chip damage with my spear goblins. This deck is pretty good with chipping away at towers, because it's a P.E.K.K.A. cycle deck. It's I, I like it, you know, the P.E.K.K.A. works great on defense with a much shorter deploy time. And I'm about to send, put down an Inferno because Wizards can do tons of damage. And I just slightly mess up, right, I place it too far. But because the the Goblin's range, but downwards, so he's technically melee except the Death Bomb. So he gets drawn over to it. I suffer some damage from the Wizard, but it's fine. Because, you know... It took out the balloon, which is, I think, the main kill card of his deck at this point. I don't know he has a P.E.K.K.A. yet. As you can see right up here, he has a P.E.K.K.A. Oh, yeah, I play on computer. <laughs> I don't know if I've said that yet. And you can't, like, quick drop or anything, so I can't really, like, use pork pushes. And, you know, it really helps a lot that you don't need it, but, like, without it, it's a lot harder. And I zap basically nothing there. It was a bit late. If I zapped earlier, I could have probably gone to the tower. But it's just map timing. And I don't think I had the zap, actually. Yeah. So now I drop down. Knight, he sends in his balloon. I'm like, fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna... And I drop down the Inferno slightly closer. Which is the 4-2 plant. I mean, 4-3 plant. Instead of like a... four No, 4-2 plant in order to draw it and this is the first time he's used his P.E.K.K.A. so I'm gonna try I pull it with Spear Goblins but it didn't pull until a second later so I dropped down Stab Goblins which puts me at a disadvantage and then I still have to drop an Inferno because he has a level 2 P.E.K.K.A. and it's 10% tankier now my P.E.K.K.A. is down and I have enough elixir for another P.E.K.K.A. so I drop that down and then I zap it the um, Skarmy, and I used the first pack as a tank in order to get that. And I completely ignored his balloon because I knew that my Pekkas would get down the tower before his balloon gets it. And that's his good game. So 
I mean, I don't love one crowns with this deck. I don't know why. Oh, someone donated me a musket here. That's cool. And I'm gonna um start a battle against a level fucking eight. Okay, I'm just gonna say good game real quick. I don't think there's a way I can beat this guy. Like, how is he level eight? I don't get that. <laughs> Three levels up. I I was at most like one level up on my opponents when I was level six in Pekka. I don't know. I feel like the overall level of players has decreased. And yeah, well, I only have level five commons. Holy shit. I don't know what I do right now. I'm just gonna do that and that. And he has a dragon. Okay, that's, I'm kinda screwed here. Cause I can't really use my minions against it. And yeah, he has level eight. Okay, let's draw him with skellies. Try to distract for a second. Holy shit. I can't do anything. Like, I really can't. Cause his cards are so high level. I can't defend. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna just drop these minions at zero elixir. See if he panics and defends it. But oh my god, he two shots minions. Like, holy fuck, I can't do shit. Oh, I thought this was a replay, so let's just get down the inferno. You know, pull it. Pull it. Just pull the balloon. It's better choice than anything else I have. And he's just gonna get that dragon on my tower. I don't know why. Did I get rid of the knight? Did I? I thought I got rid of the bomber. Yeah, and I'm going to have to... Oh, wait, I have this. Okay. And that. And that. I don't know why I dropped that there. Just drop down the knight. Drop down a ton of troops. You know, pressure my opponent. But they're very zappable. And yeah, I can't really do anything. This guy's way too high level for me, man. I really don't have too much of a choice here except to just give up. But I'm not going to give up. Well, he's gonna try to get a crown or something. Look at that! He's able to get to my inferno and destroy it completely with just its death form. I mean, you have a level 2 prince, that's my only level 2 epic. And I should be able to draw it over. And with my arena towers, usually you can defend a horde with your arena towers and a minions, but you can't when they're 10 times higher level than you. Like, holy fuck. I can't get my deck going because his cards are so high level they just don't die. And my cards are so low level they die instantly. It just doesn't work out. Look at how much damage he does to me. I'm just trying to drop down as much as I can. But it's just not working. I can't get past him. Look at that, like, perfect zaps and everything. I could have pulled there, but, like, I just give up at this point. But I'm not going to lose without dignity, so I'm going to, like, at least try my artist here. Pull it. No, the de server delay. Fuck, I don't want to get three crown. Good game. I don't want you to get three crown, okay? I'm mean like that. <laughs> yeah, good job, mate. You defeated a guy three levels lower than you. Level 7, let's just say good game real quick. I have a better chance here, though. And I'm just going to draw him over with skellies. And spear gobs. Oh my god, I should not have dropped the spear gobs. Well, one spear gob's still there. I don't know if the prince will charge at. Yes, it will. That's great. Okay. And I get some chip damage on the tower. That's good. Uh, draw him over with these minions. And... Uh, Get down some goblins, I guess, with a P.E.K.K.A. in front of them. Spawn. Okay, fuck. Okay. Ah, uh, he's gonna get to the tower. I, there's nothing I can do about it. I guess I can try to, like, get my P.E.K.K.A. to the tower as well. Yeah, it's my best bet. I mean, I can't do much. His loon, he, I wasn't ready for it. I really wasn't. And I get punished for not being ready. You know, that's how the game works. But he also gets punished by my P.E.K.K.A. That's good. I'm going to drop down some minions to try to negate as much damage as I can. And that. And, okay, I'm going to draw this over with skellies. And then place a knight behind the prince in order to get some valuable damage. And I'm going to draw over that horde. Okay. And the minion horde isn't going to get much done because it turned into three minions. Wow, that was great. Okay. Hopefully my king tower gets in here. Yeah, okay, that's good. I've managed to negate most of the damage. And that wizard is pretty negligible, considering I have both towers. My king tower, too. 
So yeah, I mean, these minions are just going to fly right over the P.E.K.K.A. though. So I'm going to draw him over with an Inferno. And I'm going to start... No, okay. Zap. And minion... Oh my god, I put the minions here. Well, not there. That messed me up. I legitimately, I'm going, like, I'm getting ready for his prince. So I'm waiting on my skellies. Yep. There it is. Skellies. Spear goblins. Spear goblins should. Okay, they no longer target, I guess. Holy fuck. I don't know. And I'm going to be able to get down all of these minions in one shot from my arena tower. Good. Now I'm going to, uh, okay. I should be able to pull that. Pull it. There we go. I'm not talking that much. I'm not good at live conning. So I'm going to get down my spirit goblins. Get down my stab goblins. Get down my knight. And I don't know what I should do against that wizard. I mean, I, I could just leave it alone. But he gets tons of damage. I could have surrounded it after he got on the tower. I just realized that. I'm a huge noob. I'm a huge noob. And Pekka, get down the tower. Yes, GG. Let's go. Two crown to zero victory. <laughs> Still a full one minute overtime. And 30 trophies. Yeah, man. I wish this, like, I could play these, but I, I, it's just like, I can't get there. They're leveled down. Too bad you can't just level up, you know? They don't level up. They only level down. I'm almost level six, actually. Like, how much experience is this going to give? 25... Is that worth the gold though? Well, there's not too much good stuff to get. So I guess we can upgrade these. Then which one am I gonna use more? I think I'm gonna use barbs more. So let's get that, and that should put me up. Well, yeah, there we go, level six. See, I'm using this strategically in order to get my king tower and my other towers to get more damage. And yay, we're happy now, because we're the same level as you, yeah. But I'm still facing all the eights here, so I mean, can't really say it's fully fair. But these, for these players, it is. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna place this re. Okay, see that? But I'm gonna zap that, zap all of that, and we'll place this inferno. And for some reason, the tower can no longer get down the minions after I zap them, because that makes a lot of sense. And let's see what he has to counter. Fuck. Okay. Because I already used my zap. He knows that. And he shuts down my push. For some reason, he got damaged with his minions. I don't know why. I mean, my tower was one-shotting them. I mean, you see if I could zap. Nope. Okay. Nothing really zappable. I guess I'll put the knight down and draw the draw the baby dragon away so my tower can take it out fully yeah because baby dragon left alone because of how tanky it is it can do tons of damage and he's gonna start getting valuable chip damage which isn't good for me but it is what it is i can't really defend against it i couldn't use this i guess holy shit okay he's dropping now a giant I need to find a way to take out his back and support. Okay, I'm going to drop down the Inferno first. Fuck, that was way too late. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, I'm an idiot. I should have dropped it way earlier. Okay, that was a major misplay and probably just cost me the game right there. Fuck. That was a huge misplay. Holy shit. Minions, get down. I hate server Lily. I hate it. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Well, I haven't said it on video before, but you know what I mean, right? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Server delay sucks, man. It really does. And that, that crucial misplay, I was not watching the Giants, so that likely cost me everything right there. And zap it! And he has Minion War, too, so he has a lot of zappable things. And he can't zap all of it, so... I'm going to try to prevent the three crown because I'm a mean idiot. And, you know, like, it's annoying when they don't let you get one crown. But come on, I don't want to get three crown. Fuck, look, okay, zap that. Oh, my God, start getting everything down. Try to defend this. 
No, you're not getting three crowns. I'm sorry, sir. You're just not going to. I don't want you to. My king tower is going frantically wild right now. And I'm just defending this with my life. Good game! Okay, I managed to avoid a three crown. That's lit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, good luck with that, Roger. I'm like, wait. I couldn't really do too much with that because I just, like, was out of stuff, you know? This deck can't handle a lot of swarm. So maybe it's valuable to have more splash, like the fire spirits. Or maybe I should try a different deck. The hog deck is, um, yeah, it's a trifecta, I guess. Or I could use, um, why is it two of these decks? Okay, let me use my prince deck with giant. Let's try that, and instead of Pekka, we have giant. We have these barbs to use, right? Yeah, instead of um, that, because we have that. We can try this deck. And do I have witch or like giant skelly could be helpful, I guess. Maybe, maybe skelly, um, minion horde. Yeah, that could work. Let's try that. You know, I'm not trying that hard right now. I don't even care if I stay in the arena or not. I'll sl split the barbs to cycle. See what my opponent does. So, uh, yo, yeah, great. Mm. Yeah, so let's wait for the, that to target my tower. And it'd be nice if I had an inferno, right? Like, honestly, man, that would shred everything. But, yeah, fuck. I don't have an inferno with this deck, so. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he has a scar army, though. He could have a skeleton army, but. Let's drop down the prince, putting us at zero elixir in order to see if I can get some damage on his tower with a charge. Yep, okay, on the tower. It would have been nice if he got on the wizard too, just take care of it, but no, he didn't. He got straight onto the tower. And I don't have a defense in this deck, so I guess we just put a giant absorb hits. And yeah, I need a defense in this deck, man. Holy shit, though, that hog got stuck. The hog got stuck, man. Stuck. And that's not good. Um, yeah, I can ignore dragon, though. Holy shit, man. Like, what are you doing? Why is dragon so tanky? Honestly, I, I can't do anything to that dragon. But I could do this. Like, I, I've done this push before, and I'll do it again, I guess. So, Prince... The minion horde support? Oh my god. Server delay! What was that? It spawned so late. Did you see how late that spawned? Did you see how fucking late that spawned? Use my surround technique. I could have, like, tried to pull it more, but, like, what? what's the fun in that anyways, huh? And why do people use rage spells? Such a bad card. I mean, it catches people off guard, sure, but it doesn't do too much. He's dropping on that side, which leads me to believe he's doing a push. And a uh, barb should be able to fully take care of it. Fully? No, one shot. Okay. It's good enough for me, I guess. And, um, uh, okay, minion whore should shred that. And skeletons, you know, avoid as much damage as possible. And a uh, prince. Yeah, this is a big push deck. It works. You know, with Minion Horde, this works really well. Why would you rage that? It doesn't, like, slow down my troops, you know? It's not how rage works. And uh, I don't think he can 3-crown me. Why did those goblins not spawn? And let's just say good game. 3 crowns. Yeah, well, I, that was pretty well played. And, and this is going to wind up being another pretty long video. Like, holy fuck, I guess those will be the last battle. He's only one level up, so I won't say good game at the beginning like I normally do. Can I just drop that there? No, okay. Skeletons will serve as a defensive unit. Yeah, because I can't one-shot that with um, my zap anymore, so that was actually a decent play. Uh, let's see. Okay. I guess we draw barbs, Malk, and set up for a huge push. Okay, he has that. I'll zap at the perfect time. I knew I should have dropped Minion Horde instead of Barbs. That, that would have been a much better play. But I'll just draw this over with Goblin just in case my tower takes two shots, you know. 
I don't know how many shots it'll take, so I play for the defense and fuck. Okay. And he has that. I'm just gonna uh, okay I'll wait for it to target and just drop minions horde on top of it. There you go. So that minion horde's gonna run to his tower. Let's see. He two shots it though. He two shots it. I can't do much against that. I really can't. But I get off some good damage. At least that's good. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna get ready my skeletons. Okay, that. That I over I put it as such bad placements. That was just dumb, man. That was just dumb. Okay, get ready, my zap. Any moment, zap. Oh, that was a bad zap. That was a. Why would I place goblins? Why would I place goblins? I'm an idiot. <sighs> that was so bad. I'm so bad at this game. This is why I like replays, you know? I'm not commentating. It makes me better at the game. It really does. I'm gonna push him out of range, so then he retargets. Yeah, that worked. Okay, let's do a giant minion war push. And I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave that alone. And I'm going Valkyrie. And yeah, this is really good because the minion war got targeted by the tower. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I mean, like, why would the minion war not get targeted on the tower? Am I right? Honestly, like, what the fuck? Why did it get targeted? Why the fuck would you get targeted by the tower minion horde? This was really badly played, though. It was really poorly played in general. Prince! No, oh, why would you put a witch? Mm. Oh, that was unlucky. Okay, unlucky. Zap! At the exact time my prince is about to charge, the the witch just like plays the skeletons because it hates me. Holy fuck. Fuck you. I'm not letting you get the three crowns. Screw off. You're the dumbest guy in my life. Okay, so he apparently also has a spectator. Mm, fuck. So close, do I go on a win there? But yeah, that's going to be all for today, guys. Take care of you all. Goodbye. Can you please get out of your blue stacks?